The cross apply operator allows you to execute a table valued function or subquery for each row returned by the outer left data source input. One area where you'll commonly see cross apply used is for queries that reference dynamic management objects, which were introduced in SQL Server 2005 and beyond. When using cross apply, it only returns left input rows that produce a result set from the table valued function or subquery. And in contrast, outer apply returns matched and unmatched left input rows. And when there are unmatched rows, the associated unmatched columns are then set to null values. This is the demo for the cross and outer apply operator. In this first query, I'll show you how to access a table valued function, which returns first name, last name, job title, and business entity type for a specified contact. So what you see here is I'm referencing four different columns, or actually five different columns, from a table valued function. And I reference the table valued function in my from clause. However, notice that I have parentheses right after that reference to UFN get contact information, which is the name of the table valued function. And you notice how I'm hovering over it, and I can see that it's a table valued function, and that it takes an input parameter of the person ID. So if I plug in a value of 3, which represents one of the people in the table, one of the person IDs, I can execute that, and I see that it returns Roberto Tamburello, and it gives contact information for person ID 3. If I had multiple contacts, by the way, or contact information for one person, this would return multiple rows. So it's one of the benefits of table-valued functions is you can have multiple rows. You should also be aware, though, that table-valued functions can have performance issues associated with them. So be sure to look at the performance of a table-valued function versus other methods. Uh, but that's uh, not something we're, that we're discussing further in this course. Now, as for trying to interjoin to it, because you see it in the from clause, you think, okay, well, I can interjoin to that table-valued function. And if you try to do that, you're going to get an error. If I execute this, it'll just tell me that there's a syntax error near the keyword where. For table-valued functions, in order to actually join to them, so to speak, you use cross-apply. And in this example, I have in my from clause person.person. .person, and then I'm cross applying and then I'm naming the table valued function and then the input parameter I'm using is the business entity ID which represents the person ID and so for each row I want to return contact information each row in the person table I want this table valued function to run and then return a row in the result set and I'm also further filtering the results in my where clause by saying I only want those people with a last name like ABO and so the prefix has to be ABO. Now if I execute this, this time the query will work with cross apply. I just have one row and uh, it shows that the job title is quality assurance manager. I can pull more contacts if I were to remove the ABO and just do AB wildcard. I see that there's other contact information for people with AB as the prefix. Now one thing I want to show you is outer apply. Uh, one thing that you'll notice with cross apply is that it works like an inner join in that if there's no result matching result based on that business entity ID in this case between person and the table valued function, then that row is not returned. Outer apply though, on the other hand, returns matched and unmatched left input rows. So if I execute this query again, but designating outer apply, I'll see an additional row appear, and you see just nulls right here because I'm only referencing columns from the TVF. But if I reference, for example, uh, last name, let's do last name, in my outer apply, you'll see that there's information, additional information that gets pulled. So there, there's a situation where, uh, let's actually do P first name. And now I have two different columns from the left input, the one that's getting preserved. And I see that Sam Oberlus does not have associated contact information, but Hazim does. So that's just an example of if you want to include results preserved from the left input, uh, but still apply the table valued function for those where there is a match, use outer apply. Otherwise, if you want to have the inner join type behavior, you would use cross apply.